Hi, welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Blender Controls. As we have seen in the Blender default scene video tutorial, the default Blender interface consists of a number of editor windows. Some of these have associated context buttons and various collapsible panels. Inside of these panels are a number of Blender controls that execute functions, provide an option, or establish a value. Because they are used so frequently in the modeling, texturing, lighting, and the animation process, it's important, I think, to take a closer look at the various styles of these Blender controls. Blender uses four basic types of controls, and you will see examples of them scattered throughout the various editor windows. The first type of control is a button control. Buttons generally provide access to tool functionality. For instance, I will right-click on the default cube object, thus selecting it, and click on the Duplicate button in the 3D Editor Object Tools panel and create a duplicate cube object. Notice that the Outliner Editor automatically notes that this object is named Cube.001. I'll select the Cube.001 object and click on the Delete button and delete it. I'll select the default cube object and click on the Scale button and scale the object. You'll discover that most all Blender button controls have associated keyboard shortcuts. It will take some time to learn these shortcuts, but doing so will greatly increase the speed in which you're able to model. If you hover your cursor above any of these Blender button controls, a tooltip message is displayed that gives you a brief description of the control and notes its associated keyboard shortcut. Here Blender notes that the shortcut for the rotate control is the R key. And here the shortcut for the duplicate object is Shift D. I urge you to memorize as many of these shortcuts as possible. The second type of Blender control is a checkbox control. Generally, a checkbox control in either enables or disables an option. Uh, for instance, here I will select the default cube object, and in the Properties Editor display panel, I will check the Name box. This displays the name of the object in the 3D viewport. In the Transform Locks panel, I will check mark the Y and Z location locks, so now the object can only be moved along the X axis. Check mark options remain attached to a specific object until they are removed. The third type of Blender control is a slider control. Generally, sliders allow you to enter a floating value. This value is usually between 0 and 100, or 0 and 1, but some Blender sliders are restricted to a limited negative value to a limited positive value. Uh, for instance, here I will select the default cube object, and then click on the Modifier Context button in the Properties Editor, and I'll add a Bevel modifier to the cube object. The width of the bevel is controlled by a Blender slider control. Slider controls have a left and a right arrow that can be clicked to incrementally step up or step down the value. You can also click on either arrow and drag the value. It's also possible to click on the value itself and type in an exact value. Here I will set the width value to 0.35. Confirm by hitting the Enter key. Here I'll go back to the Object Context button of the Properties Editor, and in the Transform panel, adjust the rotation of the cube object around the Y axis. A variation of this slider control <coughs> is a direct click and drag slider. With the cube object still selected, I will click on the Materials button on the Properties Editor and click on the Color box in the Diffuse panel. Here I can click and drag the color sliders and adjust the amount of red, blue, or green diffuse color. The fourth type of Blender control is a Select Menu control. Now, Generally, a Select Menu control allows you to select an option from a list. 
Uh, for instance, with the cube object selected, I will select the Texture button, Context button in the Properties Editor, and under the Type menu control, I'll select Blend. I'll then quickly render the cube by clicking on Render, Render Image. Now you will encounter these four types of Blender controls, buttons, checkboxes, sliders, and menus throughout your modeling, animation, and rendering process.